Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video, I'm going to show you really quick on a starter guide. Not really edited, but a starter guide for, you know, if you're starting GPO or, you know, you're joining my streams where I've been lately playing GPO and streaming GPO. Anyways, when you're starting out in the game, you start, like, in this island. Um, if you want to get levels, first thing you do is, like, talk to this character it's on, this game is on mobile too, if you want to try it out. Should be on console. So on mobile, console, and computer. Anyways. Here's the NPCs, you have to defeat them. If you're struggling to defeat the NPC, just do that with your melee. Dash back. Do that. You won't be able to have get boat immediately, so you could but you could jump. Remember, this game does have block, and there is a, a amount of block you could be used that could be used right here, and you could perfect block. Um, there's also something else that is race. Uh, you can't really see it, but I have I'm supposed to have wings. I don't know why it doesn't show that I have wings, but I am a Skypean. Skypeans, we could if I go up here in the air, then I could glide. But to do that, to do it's for you to glide. You have to go to Skypea and purchase the gliding feature and stuff like that. Anyways, there's the Cyber Grace. Um, they give some buffs. Uh, I think it's for your health, stamina, and some other stuff. Um, and it ha it's a very good combat. When you have, when you go to second C, there's a combat you could get it, get for it, and it's pretty good. You could fly with it. Um, another race you could use is Vampire Race. Vampire Race has its own combat. I don't know. I don't remember the buff it gives, but it has its own combat in C2 as well. Um, let's see. There's also Minx. Minx Race has their own combat. When they um, melee or use their sword, it has an electric effect, so it could stun the enemy a bit more, the NPCs and stuff like that. Um, other players. They also have a V2. Same for Fishman. Fishman has a V2. Um, they get like, uh, not really. A, I don't know if they get a buff, but I know they can swim underwater for a longer period of time. And sharks don't spawn towards them as much as you know. If you weren't Fishman, they have their own combat, a V2 of it, and they have a V2 of their own race. Um, and I think that's. Uh, well, the fisherman race also you could once you have a fruit you're able to be a little bit above water you'll be fine you won't drown but at the moment you sink then you you drown if you're a human race and you want to be a melee you could have black leg or sword style or rokushiki rokushiki and the um, black leg style whatever it has a v2 the v2 for black lake is in the same c c1 and rokushiki i'm not sure i think it's like in c2 um one sword style you have in this c c1 and c2 you could get two sword style if you're beating on the game in the game i recommend you getting sword style since they have longer range it's more easier for you to do long range damage well the other Rokushiki and Black Leg, it's like short, um, close combat. Let's see, what else do you guys need to know? There's guns, not really useful. No, uh, you don't really need to be a gun main. I mean, you could do it if you want to struggle a bit, but yeah. There's stamina, defense, you can put the stats however you want. There's devil fruit, you won't see this if you don't have a fruit. There's gun mastery and sword mastery. There will be fighting style mastery right here. That will, will be the mastery of, and you can unlock uh, like your abilities, like light. It also increases the damage besides unlocking like the uh, like it says the user's ability. Strength increases damage of melee punches and skills. Mostly if you have this, if you have ten points and stuff like that. Um, you sh heli, it's money or currency. You will use it now and then. 
but you should always collect even if you are a hundred thousand just in case because you might want to get observation v2 which i have observation v1 to get v2 you have to waste twenty five thousand of this and i tried it it was kind of difficult for me still haven't got it i'll probably get it eventually there's v2 of buso hockey this is v2 of it and you could choose a color well you can't choose a color but you could spin for the color so you will get a random color and you could spin for it there's a few ways you could spin either with robux or doing impel down you could there's a you purchase with the points and stuff like that that will be in probably another video if people want to see how to change color and impel down to know what impel down gives you um you could pay for hockey it'll be twenty five thousand for hockey v1 and you have to defeat 50 yetis if you want observation hockey v1 you have to perfect lock a hundred times it's at skypea it's a guy that's in a little hut uh next to the thunder god on the on the right side but i don't i'm not sure if they nerfed it but it's probably still a hundred perfect blocks and hockey also with hockey it gives you a more stronger block your items give you buffs see how much i have right here item status buff all these items if they load gives you a buff kraken hats all this besides this, this is a core this is to spawn a kraken there's drinks to help you um regain your stamina or health fruits if you want fruits you could join our discord server if you want to join a giveaway for those if we ever do or just join stream because that's what i've been doing at least the time that i'm recording this video dark roots if you want to reset your fruit and then you could eat another one this is spare essence that is needed to get uh, um buso hockey v2 you will know when it is level enough to be able to get b2 once you go to c2 and you do a little test and stuff like that it tells you that it's max so every time make sure you have your hockey v2 and when the bar is fully up just make sure you have hockey v2 that will help it level up is a loki bar so if i go over here let him hit me i won't be hit and until this bar goes down this also has a level me uh, mechanism i think this is evasive how do you use evasive in your own um, computer you press crit critical and yep there you go i got my observation bar it's right here i can see the enemies and npcs all right so let's talk about this island real quick this island is get out of this island you could do that at level 10 or 15 it's better if you do it at level 15 or 20 because it'll be much easier for you again this npc defeat them like five of them and once you do that and you're level enough to go over here and talk to this npc you have to defeat him right here the bandit leader and the bandit leader will give you you have a chance which is a very high chance to get the bandit eye eye patch which will boost your hp a little bit yep right here 15 extra health you should use that if you have it in your inventory go into your inventory you press m on keyboard if you're on compu uh, computer press m inventory over here everything is log post will tell you where things are where they're located to get wood you have to get something that explodes so you can explode the trees and it just destroy them pick up the wood um if you don't have any abilities could do that use a bazooka you get a bazooka and see and not see too um in the next island see after you finish that this npc just gives asks you to find her jewel and it gives you money and a little bit of xp that flash was this evasive my evasive bar 
is full now again. Um, the bottles and boat shop go in here. This is free. Um, get the hammer before you go anywhere. Get this boat if you get if you have two thousand. It's more quicker than the free one. Once you got the boat, I say you really want to get out of here already. Um, first off, go to this NPC, talk to her. She'll give you a quest. She will guide you to the next the next place. You press M or go to your menu. You do press the boat boat icon. Get on your boat and sail to the next island. Which your next island will be about if this is facing north it's on west so you go west side takes a bit of while and there it is that's your next stop that's your next island and then after this you have to get to level 30 or get to level 35 whatever level you think it'll be easier for you because the NPCs for corrupt marines are a bit difficult the boss over there is Morgan, and he drops a, where is it, the jaw. It's an accessory that he helps you with your HP. Find it. I probably don't even grab it, but yeah, it gives you like a buff. I don't remember if it's HP, but take it. You can only wear one one accessory or item. So if you're wearing something in your face, then that's only one. On your top hat, you could wear something on your head. Necklace for your neck, cape, bat swarm, armor. You don't really get armor until you defeat a sea beast. You have a chance to, and you don't really get better ar uh, better armor until you're C2. Or you have a better chance of getting armor is because there's a lot of options to get armor in C2. Um, there will be more if you want more videos like this. Anyways, that's long. That's the end of the video. This is long enough. If you guys have any more things you want to say or ask, and you're starting out the game, feel free to go in, in the comments. Comment what you want to know, and if you want to see more videos like this. And if you have tips of your own, comment them down below so newer players could see the comment and yeah, know the tips. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and share the video if the video has helped you out. Um, join our Roblox group, join our Discord. You can purchase our Roblox outfits and stuff like that. And yeah, make sure you have notifications and be subscribed. So I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe and take care.